I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the sugar maple. Sugar maple, Acer sicarum, is one of the most well-known and beloved hardwoods in the United States and Canada. In fact, more states have claimed sugar maple as their state tree than any other single species, and it's the National Tree of Canada. It's the state tree of New York, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Vermont. It's also called hard maple or rock maple. Sugar maple is slow growing and long lived. In fact, it can live to be three to 400 years old. Sugar maple typically grows 80 to 120 feet tall and up to three feet in diameter. This beautiful tree is a wonderful landscape tree and an important timber tree and is the principal source for maple syrup production. Sugar maple's native range includes eastern and northeastern North America. Sugar maple is a common forest tree in Kentucky. It commonly occurs in rich, moist woods and coves and other sheltered locations on the lower slopes, but it can also be found growing on drier uplands. Sugar maple grows in loamy sands and silt loams, but does best in well-drained loam soils. It is very shade tolerant and only American beech equals it in shade tolerance. Sugar maple is a deciduous tree with oppositely arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are simple in form and about three to six inches long. They typically have five lobes and the margins are entire or smooth as compared to red maple that has serrated margins. The leaves are palmately veined with the veins originating from the central point at the base of the leaf. The leaves are green above and pale below. Sugar maple with its beautiful form and brilliant multicolored display of fall color is a popular shade tree in Eastern North America. And fall colors range from gold to orange to vivid red. Sugar maple can be either monoecious, male and female flowers on the same tree, or dioecious with male and female flowers on separate trees. The flowers are small, light greenish yellow, and they hang in clusters of eight to 14 flowers. And the flowers are on slender stems. They bloom slightly before the leaves emerge. The flowers are wind pollinated and sugar maple seldom flowers before 20 years of age. The fruit is a double or paired samara which has wings and the wings are papery in texture. The paired samara resembles a horseshoe shape. They're about one inch long and hanging clusters. Usually only one of the paired samaras is filled with a seed but occasionally both samaras will have a seed or be empty. When mature, the samaras turn yellowish green and fall about two weeks after they ripen in autumn. Trees start producing seed between 30 and 40 years, with good seed crops every two to five years. Seeds are dispersed by wind, and seeds have an extremely high germination capacity of up to 95%. Sugar maple is also capable of vegetative reproduction by stump sprouting, especially in the northern part of its range. Sugar maple has value to wildlife. It is commonly browsed by white-tailed deer, moose, and snowshoe hare. The seeds, buds, twigs, and leaves are eaten by red, gray, and flying squirrels. Porcupines eat the bark, and in some instances, even girdle the upper stems of trees. Numerous cavity nesting birds nest in sugar maple, including chickadee, flicker, pileated woodpecker, and screech owl. The bark is light gray to grayish brown. As the tree grows and ages, the bark develops furrows with long, thick, irregular, firm ridges that appear to curl outward. Sugar maple wood is tough, durable, hard, heavy, and strong, thus the common name, hard maple. The sapwood of sugar maple is commonly used for lumber, and it ranges in color from nearly white to cream color with a reddish or golden hue. The heartwood tends to be darker and kind of a reddish brown in color. Bird's eye is a figure, and a figure describes the distinctive pattern that results from various grain orientations in the wood, but bird's eye is that it's most commonly found in sugar maple. It's called bird's eye because the tiny knots in the grain resemble small bird's eyes. The figure is reportedly caused by unfavorable growing conditions for the tree. Sugar maple can also have curly or quilted grain patterns. Sugar maple is an important and valuable timber tree that is used to produce products such as furniture, veneer, paneling, flooring, gun stocks, sporting goods, bowling pins, and musical instruments. It's also the wood used for NBA basketball floors. It is also the primary source of maple sugar and maple syrup, which is, very, which is a very important industry in much of eastern North America. 
the national champion sugar maple is in New London, Connecticut. It's 219 inches in circumference, 123 feet tall, with an 86-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion sugar maple is in Davies County. It's 207 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall, with a 91-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Register of Champion Trees, or check out Kentucky Champion Trees with the Kentucky Division of Forestry. Now for a few fun facts about sugar maple. Maple trees are tapped in early spring with the first flow of sap. The sap is collected, boiled, or evaporated into a syrup, and it takes 35 to 50 gallons of maple sap to produce one gallon of maple syrup. Sugar maples had numerous historic uses, including making soap from the ashes, drinking the sap as a tonic, and making a dye from the bark. During the 2001 baseball season, Barry Bonds switched from the traditional ashwood bat to one made of maple and hit 73 home runs. The scientific genus name for sugar maple is Acer, and it's from the Celtic auk, which means hard, referring to the wood, and the species name Sicarum is from the Greek Sicharin, which means sweet or sugar. Thank you for joining me to learn about the sugar maple. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the showy sugar maple.